Have a safe trip. One drop of honey makes a world of difference. One drop of honey makes learning sweet. Add one drop of honey to Talmud Torah, and you've got a team that can't be beat. All starts with the children. Open minds and smile. The Joseph stories are coming to a conclusion. Joseph is revealed this week to his brothers. His brothers go back to get their father, and the family is reunited. Thank goodness for happy endings. Well, happy for now, until the whole slavery thing starts. There's a very interesting piece of this week's Torah portion. Just before the brothers leave to get their father, Joseph says something to them, which is it's striking. Joseph says to them, don't quarrel with the way. On your way home to your father, don't fight with the way. Now, the literal text says, don't quarrel on the way or in your way. And so perhaps a pshat, a simple reading, could say, don't fight with each other on the way home. Don't worry about whose fault was this and whose fault was that. Just just go. Just get home, get dad, come back. It'll all be good. But Menachem Mendel of Kotsk says, no. It doesn't mean don't quarrel on the way. It means don't quarrel with the way. What does that mean? Well, he explains that Joseph said to them, the hour of your arrival at your destination has been appointed by heaven. If you hurry on the way, you will only be delayed by some other reason. So don't quarrel with the way that has been appointed for you. It's a bit like a little bit like that movie. Um, uh, what's the name of that? The um, Adjustment Bureau, right? The Adjustment Bureau, where where we each have a path. And if we go off that path, then there are people, adjusters, who come along and readjust us, get us back on our path. Of course, the main character in that movie does quarrel with the path, and he actually changes the path. But what would it be like to live believing that there is an appointed path for us, that we'll get wherever we need to go for whatever reason at whatever time that God chooses? You know, I was thinking about this, and I was brought back to a teaching by the Baal Shem Tov. The Baal Shem Tov teaches about the verse uh, that God leads our steps, that God guides our steps. And he says that this teaching, that God guides our steps, is referring to uh, people. Anashim, Hanosim, La'aretz, Merachachim, they go to faraway places, and they go on business, or something like that. And he says, Lo machshavotav, yibarach shmo machshavotam. That the reason why they think they're going is not the same reason why God knows they're going. They think, the Baal Shem Tov says, in their heart, they believe in their heart of hearts that the only purpose for their travel is to make a profit for their wares. And that's why they've set their feet in motion. That's why they began this journey anyway. It's just a business trip, Right? But the truth is, but this is not the way the, the Almighty envisions it. And the Baal Shem Tov goes on to explain how sometimes we take a trip and we bring someone along with us on our trip and we think we know why we're going, but it's the trip wasn't actually for us at all. It was actually for them. We were just the vehicle by which they were able to go on this trip for whatever reason God had for them. What would it be like to believe that what happens to us in our lives, our journeys, our paths, that there's a deeper purpose to them. That what we understand, that what we see in this world is just the surface. It's just perhaps the light that the candle gives off. But there is, of course, much more to a flame than just the light that it creates. There is the warmth. There is the physical flame itself. There are the different levels of the flame, the different components of the flame. We experience the heat and the light, but there is a deeper existence to a flame, and there is maybe a deeper reasoning, a deeper understanding to be had about all the things that happen in our lives. And so what if you took a moment this week, this Shabbat, to not quarrel with the way and to instead say, whatever happens today, 
I'm going to try and understand its deeper meaning. I'm going to try and dig deeper and ask, why is God sending this to me right now? Why is this moment being given to me? Where is this moment leading me? Where is my path taking me? And I'm not going to ask so that I can change it. I'm going to ask so I can appreciate it. Have a safe journey. And don't quarrel with the way. Until next time, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.